Hey guys, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So I'm planning from June the 19th through to the 25th and I'm using a kit from the Vintage Rose Studios which are on Etsy and I'll put their link down in the description box. This kit is called Pina Colada and I cannot tell you how many times I sung if you like Pina Colada while I was planning this. So many times. I also bought this kit in glossy. I've never used glossy before. I've always used matte so this is like a new experience for me. But this is what the kit looks like. So for this week I liked the quote along the bottom which says no one is too old for fairy tales so I didn't want to cover that up with washi so I decided to use the whole washi strip along the top just to cover up the date covers and the day covers because this kit actually comes with the days of the week which I love. So I'm just putting that on and trimming that down to size. So I'm just taking the date covers and I'm just writing the dates on. I have noticed with the glossy paper, it's really thick. It's a lot thicker than the matte paper and I just had to test that my pen wasn't going to smudge everywhere. So once I had popped that in, I just started with my light pink to-do header and then a half box just to write down that I wanted to upload this week's plan with me. I also took the laptop sticker that came with the freebie and just wrote down the upload plan with me. My pen didn't smudge using the gloss stickers, which I thought it might, but I did notice when I was going back over my writing, it was kind of wiping it off, if that makes any sense. So I think I just need to find the right kind of pen if I was to go ahead and use some glossy stickers again. But moving on, I just put my full box down and I didn't want to cover it up because it's so pretty. So I just put an appointment label down and wrote down film because I needed to film a video for the Wednesday upload. Next I took my dusky pink today header and a piece of patterned washi, or two pieces of patterned washi sorry, behind my appointment label. The other thing I've noticed with glossy stickers is they are really hard to pull back up. Once they're down they do not like to be removed so you kind of have to be quite certain where you're putting things. I did struggle a couple of times in this spread with trying to lift stickers up and it not really working. But underneath that I put a piece of patterned washi and a paper clip which is also from the freebie just to write down for the homework section. And then for my little thing things <laughs> I wanted to put down I wanted to bleach the sinks overnight and I had an Etsy delivery. For Tuesday I put down my to do header and then an ombre checklist. Then underneath that I put my today header and then just chose a half box to pop down. Some of these stickers, I'm not sure if it's all glossy kits or if this kit was just a little off cut, but a lot of these stickers were really hard to pull up because the cutter hadn't cut all the way through. So I had to take my knife a lot of the times and just recut it myself. But like I say, I'm not sure if this is a usual thing for a gloss kit because some other stickers like this heart one just lifted up perfectly. But I just used the half box to mark down that both of my boys had swimming club on this day. Underneath I put a piece of patterned washi just to fill up the gap before adding my full box. And then I also had another high school meeting on this day so I just used another half box just to mark that down. For Wednesday I put down a today header and then took a piece of gold washi to stick down. Then I took this kind of three ombre checklist I guess it is and I just chopped off the end section so I could turn it on its side and like I said these glossy stickers do not like to be repositioned so I had to kind of leave that one it's a bit wonky but it was going to rip up all of the stickers and the page so I just decided to leave it and write edit underneath. The computer screen is also from this kit too so underneath I just put a half box because my son has got a World War II play on this day. Using glossy stickers definitely made me a little bit more nervous while sticking my stickers down in my planner. I'm not sure if I would use glossy again. It does look really pretty and the pen writes a lot nicer onto these stickers, but it just makes me so nervous to try and put these stickers down because I do often pick stickers up if I don't like where I've put them. And with glossy ones, I feel like you should know where you're putting them before you put them down. But I just put a full box down with my own personal YouTube sticker to mark my upload and then for my little things I had homework, scandal and billions. So moving on to the next half of the week I'm just going to quickly put my dates at the top. 
which I nearly lost Saturday's sticker. I tried to peel it up and it ripped some of the washi underneath, but you can't tell once it's down, it kind of covered it up, which was super lucky. So for Thursday, I put down my two-day header and then also one of these kind of pale pink. It's like what I used on the Wednesday at the top is like a checklist, but I just cut the gold piece off on the Wednesday one so I could stick it on its side. But for this one, I just left it on because I needed to remind myself that they had a non-school uniform. Underneath I put a piece of patterned washi, I love this pattern, and a date night. Now this date night isn't actually for me because you'll see on top of this full box it's the night of my son's prom and he's asked his girlfriend to go to the prom, it's very cute and very sweet. So that's actually his date night. Is that weird that I've marked my son's date night? I think it might be. Underneath I put a light pink to clean header and then I took one of these ombre heart checklists which are quite short and I didn't have that much to do so they're actually really handy. Underneath I put my little things header and then a few things that I had on. So I had a TV program on, I had to put a blank one down. Some of these were really hard to peel up so I did have to take my knife again just to cut them. But I just wanted to mark down that I had Bob's Burgers on, I needed to put the bins out and I needed to check and reply to my emails. For Friday I wanted to put a green header down just to bring a little bit more green into the spread. Then I put down an ombre checklist which these are so pretty, I love the little triangles. Underneath I put a today header and a half box, I really like this half box too. I think I'm just more addicted to the greens which isn't usually like me because I like pastel colours. But I just drawn to the greens. So I did put an appointment label because I wanted to mark down that I needed to work on some sticker ideas for when I open my Etsy shop. And underneath that I just put a piece of patterned washi and the coffee cup sticker which is also from the kit. I also had a bill due this day and then I was moving on to my little things. For my little things I took a plain label a heart one and also a film slate one because I needed to redo my brows they are in major need of doing my nails and also me and my daughter watch a chick flick every Friday so for the weekend I decided to put my headers down I put two to do's down two to do's down yeah that's right and then I also put my full boxes down I was just deciding which other one to use on the Sunday and then underneath I took some of the gold washi strips that I had left and just trimmed that kind of larger one down so I didn't realise it was larger until I went to put the weekend banner down. So I just took my knife just to trim it down so it was the same size as the other one. Then I decided I wanted to put my next headers down before I put the weekend banner down so I was just trying to peel them up so I just popped them down, I put it today and a little things down and then I stuck the weekend banner down and it went in the wrong place. I tried to pull it up and it was literally going to rip not only the weekend banner but also the stickers underneath. So I just had to leave it and it's kind of covering up the today header but we have to deal with it. Underneath um, the Saturday I put an appointment label because Jace was working in the morning and then I put a full box which I will leave because I'm not sure what we're doing yet, it depends on when he gets home. And then of course I always have to have a checklist on a Saturday which is just to mark things down that I need to get done. For Sunday I put two pieces of washi behind this half box just to frame it and again I'm going to leave it until I know what we're going to be doing. I put a small checklist down because I knew I'd have a few things left to do. And at the bottom I put a piece of patterned washi and another half box which I flipped onto its side just to mark down that I wanted to film next week's plan with me. I also stuck the little planner icon down which is from the kit which has a little flamingo on and it's super cute. So you just saw that I put some washi behind my full box and sometimes I do like to layer it on a piece of sticker paper first to make sure I've got it perfectly in line and then I stick it onto my planner. It's just a lot easier for me to do it that way. Uh, I put my habit tracker down and then I put a this week down section which I don't usually do but I'm going to be tracking my fitness in the sidebar. Underneath I put my half box which I really love and then another ombre checklist at the bottom which is going to be my next week section. 
I took the phone icon as usual and put it up near the habit tracker because I like to track my Instagram. And then I just went and filled in things that I was going to be doing this week. So I was going to be jogging on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. And then on the Wednesday and Friday, I'm going to be doing a workout at home. Then I needed to fill in my next week section and then I do go through and just fill in all of the checklists that I've put throughout the week that I didn't fill in. So I'm just going to quickly fill them all in now. You can definitely tell that I'm a stay at home mum because literally all I do is clean and sort things out. That's it, my life is so boring. <laughs> So this kit doesn't come with any kind of decorative deco if you like but because of the patterns and the colours are so bold in this kit I feel that you don't actually need any deco to go with this. So here's what I've got left of the kit. I do have quite a lot left so I might be able to put these into another spread and here is a close up as usual of this week's spread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did then make sure you give it a thumbs up especially for pina colada because it's been super sunny here perfect kit to use for this week don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you all next week bye guys